Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. It was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. This government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Their leader, Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Church, stick close. 
corpse. Eyes open. These folks can smoke easily. Brooke, I mean, what are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine out here. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much like here. They don't respect the nine millimeter. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. <laughs> Take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on, Marshall. We will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff. There will be no more Jesus. suffering. No, no fuck it. it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. Here they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. This moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me.
just fine here. Sorry, I thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on, check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus, I had no idea. Fuck. 
We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard and we're gonna take out the rest of these. Okay, shh.
tried to take me from you are now in a loving embrace of my family. Save for one. that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. <laughs>